Penny, I'm going to show you three pictures of yourself okay. in three garments. I'd like you to tell me where you are and what you're wearing. So this is the first one, have a look at that. Wow, so yeah, this is a recent one. So um, last week I was in Paris and uh, I was in Paris for the FIFA Best Awards and they told me that they wanted me to present the Best Goalkeeper Award. I'm in a Georgina Harding dress, which was located by my stylist, Hannah Beck, uh, who I've worked with for a while now. Um, amazing dress. Um, Tell me a little bit about it, because it's uh, the material of it looks like nothing I've ever seen before. It looks it looks metallic. Yeah, it is metallic, but it's it's actually really comfortable. Really? Um, it's, not, it's not stiff at all. It was really flowy. Um, I, I, I actually don't know what the material is. I did ask, but I didn't really get the, the response. Yeah. I didn't really get it's an not, answer. The, the cut of it's like super feminine, but the material looks almost like Grecian yeah. armour or like some yeah. kind of metallic, I don't know. It's very structured and yeah. I, I love structure in fashion and I like a lot of brands like Isimiyaki that, you know, they, they're almost like architects with, with the fashion. Okay. I really want to touch on that later on because I know there's a big crossover between your love of kind of visual arts and yeah, what you wear. So. Absolutely. Um, so this was, a, I mean, I got a lot of compliments on the dress. You know, people were saying, oh, have you won, have you won an award? And I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was giving an award, um, but one of my favourite looks and obviously captured by my friend Zach Des, who got me sort of happy, ready to go. Um, so oh, yeah, really, Is it really shot on film? That it looks like it's shot on analogue camera. Yes, he's yeah. he's an amazing photographer. He, you know, he came over to Paris to just hang out and said, like, let's take pictures and photography around Paris. And I told him it would be good to get behind the scenes pictures of me getting ready and get my makeup done. And, and he got this shot. He got the dress in a way that you, you just really inquire and quite curious about what the material is as you've asked and it's really flowy and we all yeah. need a mate like Zach to come get yeah. fire fit pics for us when we're looking at <laughs> he's finest. really talented he's really talented if Zach dares on Instagram you'll see a lot of his photography shout out to all crews like shout out. the uh, designer the photographer and you're obviously slaying hard in that one yeah thank you <laughs> let's look over to our next picture swipe right Oh wow, this was back in 2021, um, one of the best days of my life really, my career, and this is me in a graduation robe, um, receiving my honorary doctorate in law from the University of Law, um, so 10 years ago I did my legal practice course qualifying as a UK solicitor, mm. and 10 years later I was honoured with an honorary doctorate and had to speak in front of you know 200 law students very nervous but very you know honored to receive the privilege and i'm wearing a self-portrait dress black and white self-portrait okay. dress do you know what i didn't even look beneath the gown <laughs> do tell me a little bit more about the, the yeah undergarments. so i'm re wearing um a self-portrait dress which you know i love self-portrait uh, another great sort of classic british female brand um i love a lot of their stuff and the robe obviously you know, very, you know, I think it's very classic, very British. Yeah, the colours are actually red. nice. I think my I did university and I had to wear that on graduation. Mine wasn't quite as town crier as yours. It's <laughs> like I didn't get the coloured hat. It was the not the black motorboat. Yeah. But I think I just had a pink shawl. That's actually quite a flex. That robe, I think. It is a flex, and the hat's a flex as well. I was a bit worried with the hat because I thought, oh, it's going to mess up my hair. I'm not going to look a bit silly, but it's it's swag. I think it's, <laughs> do you know what? I think it's all right. I mean, I'm not sure I would wear it out, but for the for the occasion, um, I felt very authoritative. I felt very sort of like honoured and privileged. And um, yeah, it was it was a special day. It was my mum's birthday that day oh, as well. So momentous. she was very happy that day. Yeah. Amazing, but she was proud. <laughs> she was, yeah. Let's move on to the next one. We've got one more to go. Oh, yeah, this is a, this is a good shot. Um, he was shot actually by a guy called Celine Adam. He does amazing like He's a boss. You know Celine? So sick. Like he, I've got I've got the camera, the lenticular camera over there. I've been doing some shots, but he's always been my inspo and I was hoping you were gonna tell us about oh, this. Oh, he's amazing. So he does these amazing gifts that um, you know, move within still photography. Um and this was on a shoot with Budweiser. And it was for a show called Side Hustle. And I was talking about the brand that I'm, I'm, I'm going to launch called Hyphen and the podcast that I, I will eventually launch called Hyphenated People. I'm wearing a off-white T-shirt and the suit is from... Uh, 
I can't remember this, the, the name of the brand now, but... Does purple make you feel a certain way? Yeah, I love purple. Um, purple is strong but feminine. Anything that has strength but has a femininity to it, I'm mm. really into. Oh yeah, I've just remember the brand, it's called Reclaim Vintage. Nice. Um, it was one of those things that like, you see it and you think, oh, I've never seen this before and I bought it. And I haven't worn it a lot because it's quite a distinctive suit. It's um, quite a uh, powerful shoulder, like quite a boxy coat. Yeah, cut. yeah. Um, but the way you've styled it with the kind of softness underneath. Yeah, is yeah. So this was, um, the whole shoot was amazing because I was really kind of introducing the world to my ideas around hyphen and, you know, the, the, the multi-layered, you know, dimensions of who I am. Um, as a sort of entrepreneur, brand owner, and, and it just, it screams strength to me, strength but fashion, you know, mm. and so I really like the picture, love the gif, and um, Budweiser were, were pretty happy with it as well. <laughs> do, you know, do you know what I think about that particular style of photography? People talk about photographs like capturing moments in time. I think when you're seeing that, if anyone hasn't seen it, like go and look on salimadam.com it really freezes a single moment in time mm -hmm. doesn't it and i think you can see it you, you feel very in the photo and I, I felt that when i looked at the gif of yours i was like oh my god i can really see yeah. that you were there more so than ever you would with a flat photo he does some great ones of like people kissing and stuff and you just feel emo there's a lot of emotion that comes from it where he's capturing sort of um really quite like personal human Intimate things moments. but it's, mm. it's moving at the same time so yeah, really, really like this one. Good pick. <laughs> yeah, absolute classic. Strangers. Oh, I guess almost by strangers. Breaking. My mind is breaking. Strangers. Oh, I guess almost by strangers.